survival plants at growplants.org. So today we'll talk about what kind of plants we will grow and if it will be annual or perennial, I think you should grow both. So as you can see here, I start, uh, this is a request of one of my uh, viewers and he asked about survival plants and I say it's a, a little bit different. We are both live, he lives in uh, 10, uh, 10 A to 10 B uh, hardiness zone and I live in uh, 10 B in order to 10 to 11 A. So it's a little bit different, but general annual, it's quite of the same. And uh, this is amaranth. Uh, there is a lot of kind, uh, most of them are very, very uh, tough plants and you can grow it, it's a great survival plants. And most of it, what I see over the net, that I check about it, because I was curious what people talk about survival plants. So you should check that the basic things that it's not require a lot of water if you grow in a place with not a lot of water. Uh, local plants, it's very important. And I put you a link down in the comment area section is uh, that uh, will tell you uh, books about edible wild plants this is very important i hold myself a book like this you know in any occasion i don't know if something will happen but why not except this if you grow i will give you some uh, tips uh, what kind of plants to choose as i said it depends the climate water we don't have here a lot of water uh, i don't uh, i don't know about the person who asked this video if you have a lot of water in this in this region but here it's mostly i would choose edible plants that can survive even the desert because in any catastrophe this place will be a desert because i'm living like 20 minutes from a desert you know it's a matter of uh, of nothing actually this is quite of a problem so amaranth it's a great doesn't require olives if you choose perennial uh, and of course you need to look at the long run, not just the uh, annual. Annual you can have uh, also tomatoes, it's uh, easy to grow uh, very fast. A lot of leaves, if it's cold area you should grow even lettuce because you just put and it's grow. A colder area or even in the winter here it can grow. Uh, I noticed that uh, my corn from the garden just uh, fly in the wind, so I don't have a clue how, and arrive to, I don't know, half a kilometer from here and it's established without water without anything i went maybe it's all probably stuck on one of the things that i throw to the garbage of the of recycling of a wood part you know maybe this is how it arrives there more logic so apparently this is can survive so it depends on what you have what you have climates winds and of course it will it will be catastrophe or something like this the climate will change. This is the main point of what uh, the people that talk about this kind of videos, uh, they talk actually about it. And I say that the book that I recommend, but except the book, you also can have a survival kit. A survival kit, it's a mix of uh, plants. Of course, choose it well. If you live in a hardiness of uh, three, it's not what you need to choose in a hardiness of, uh, let's say, 11, like here. And it's the main important thing here, I think at least, that you should know where you live. And of course, also aim to perennial. Uh, as I said, olives, it's a great tree. Fig, very, very strong. Uh, Loquat tree, very strong, grow fast. Jamaican cherry. Uh, I will try to make you a list of plants of perennial. Uh, the main important thing is not just to buy a plant that can survive all this catastrophe that the seeds can survive for a long time because probably if you will buy today it won't survive uh, you want that it will survive for a few years at least so it's very important you know there is like a plant even if you live in the tropic for example you can grow jackfruit very strong and fast growing tree but the seeds itself survive for two three days uh, this is the best quality after this the percentage of succeed it just go down uh, Another thing, that plum, uh, I know, a re uh, they find the old seed, like 2,000 years, it's a, it's a nice story, don't know the location of the seeds that they find, and they put it in the soil and they even succeed to, uh, to grow it. So apparently it's uh, great, but remember that uh, you have male and female, so it might be a problem. You need enough seeds in order to hope that you will have like, you know, 50-50%, or maybe it's a little bit more to the male or female, I don't have a clue actually. 
that what you get here. So, except this, uh, I would recommend for you uh, the basic things again that can be uh, quite of uh, elegant, as I said, book of the wild plants that live in the area, to think about the annual plants that you grow, uh, which kind of annual would you like, you know, it needs to be something that you would like also to eat, and the third, to think for the long run, about perennial strong plants, if you need any idea for your climate area, uh, give me some information in the comment, and I will try to build you something that will be fit for your region. Uh, except this, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and that's all from Grow Plants. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask, or you would like a video. Also, you can ask, uh, check for more video, follow us on Twitter, and of course, you have here a link to buy the plants that we talk about, and also down.